So today I am going to be doing a video all about my newest piercing um, and if you saw it from the title, it is my Helix. So if you're not currently subscribed to my channel, please click the subscription button below and I upload every Monday and Wednesday and um, you can click the little bell notification when you subscribe so you can see when I upload. So yeah, anyways, um, I am super excited. I have been wanting this piercing since I was like in middle school, since I was like 13. Um, Raven from That So Raven had it and um, that's where I saw the piercing for the first time and I tried to convince my mom that I really wanted it and you know, it's like let me go and do it but she wouldn't obviously so I don't know why I waited till um, now till I'm like 25 to do it but uh, I finally did it and I want to tell you guys all about my experience with it and how I'm cleaning it and I will probably end up doing an updated video once it's healed or if I have any future updates on the piercing um, through like the healing process or whatever just like I did with my tragus. By the way my tragus is completely healed now um, I was going to do an updated video all about that but honestly there's there's nothing really to update you on it just it's already healed it's already been in for about 11 months now I absolutely love it it's such an easy piercing and honestly like I I have both of them on my right ear now I'm gonna be working on my left ear next but yeah so my most recent was my helix I got it done on January the 13th because um, the piercing shop that's literally like two minutes away from my house um, by the way they're super reputable like th there's like three locations two in my town and one in the city that I used to live in so they have really good reviews and whatnot and they do tattoos as well so um every Friday the 13th they do they pick a charity and donate all of their proceeds from um piercings and tattoos on every Friday the 13th to that certain charity so I've always wanted to become a part of their event but usually I work like every Friday so I decided that I would take this one off and go and get something done because I've always wanted my helix pierced and and it's such a straightforward piercing feel like it's very common and a lot of people have it so I wanted to get it done um, on the day that they donate, they donate the money to charity also um, all the piercings that day are $40 normally they are like I think 70 or $80 usually so you're getting basically like half off and your money is going to charity so I go in with my mom at like noon around noon they open at 11 and they have like literally five spots left for piercings and I had to go later on in the afternoon I ended up going alone because my mom had to work and um, I ended up waiting for like half an hour longer than um, my appointment time just because I guess they have to clean the room sanitize it and whatever so I end up like waiting and I'm super nervous. My legs literally feel like jelly because I don't know. Um, I love the way piercings look. I hate getting them done and I hate the aftercare. I just, ugh. And I hate like the process of like waiting for something to happen. You know, like I know I'm going to get pierced. I know I'm going to be in pain, blah, blah, blah. Like I just don't like the anticipation of like waiting for something, you know? So. Um, finally I get into the room and um, I was like I knew I wanted my helix pierced I didn't know exactly where so I asked the piercer where she thought it would look best on my ear and of course she picked the spot that I got it pierced in I was going to record it but I had no one <laughs> no one there with me I went by myself and um, honestly this was the most painful piercing that I have gotten um, I've been pierced for a total of five times, I think. Five times, yeah. Because I've had my lobes pierced twice. Um, the first time they got super infected, I had to get them removed. And um, so I got my lobes pierced twice. I had my trigus done. And I used to have a belly button piercing that um, it rejected and everything. So um, I've been pierced five times. And this was the most painful experience that I've ever had. Um, I feel like it took the longest just because um, I guess cartilage is just really thick and um, I don't know, I just feel like it took, normally piercings I want to say take like 20 to 30 seconds. This one took like at least a minute and um, not only did the needle hurt but like putting the jewelry in hurt and my ear when I left the shop was like throbbing and I was like thank god my drive home is only like two minutes because I don't know if I could handle just like driving around for a while so 
um, I go straight home and I decided to take a nap. I was watching other people's piercing experience videos. I was asking um, one of my friends who actually has her helix pierced and she said that she didn't experience any pain at all. I'm like, cool, you know, this experience um, what's it called? Everybody's piercing experiences are different. Um, honestly, like, my tragus did not hurt whatsoever when I got it pierced. It was like, it was like literally a point, point five out of ten as far as the pain scale. My helix was like a seven out of ten. And you guys, I have a really high pain tolerance. Like, I have four tattoos and I have this, like, half, not even half my arm, but like, I have a good portion of my arm tattooed. And, um, honestly, like, I, t I prefer tattoos so much more than piercings. I feel like the healing process is so much faster. It doesn't hurt as bad. It takes like freaking, you know, like a hundred times as long, obviously, because like this took like two hours or something like that. But like, I know piercings take only, I know piercings only take like 30 seconds to a minute or something like that. But oh my God. Yeah, I was not expecting it to hurt at all. I don't know why, I just wasn't expecting it to hurt because none of my other ones hurt. It hurt for the first 24 hours and it was like this dull pain. It wasn't throbbing, it was only throbbing for like um, probably like like once I got to my car and drove home. When I got home it was still throbbing for like maybe 5-10 minutes and that's about it. And then it was so red and so swollen, oh my god. Um, and then yeah, so it hurt for a solid like 24 hours. It was like this annoying like dull pain. I don't even know how to describe it. It was just like I ended up taking Tylenol like the night before the night that I had it pierced, like I, I ended up taking Tylenol then to get rid of some of the pain and I never do that with anything so um, yeah it was an experience to say the least um, I didn't really bleed that much she didn't she didn't hit a vein but I feel like she hit a nerve or something because I honestly did not expect it to hurt anywhere near as bad as it did but yeah so um, after about 24 hours the pain went away I went to the gym yesterday and I felt like so good and everything so um, now it currently just feels like it doesn't really hurt or anything yeah it doesn't hurt or anything it's just um, you know like when you feel like a wound is healing it has that little like sort of like an itch to it that's kind of what it feels like right now it's kind of like I feel like it's like scabbing over that's honestly how it feels so I got it pierced on Friday afternoon and it is currently Sunday so I've had it for two days ish yeah two days so yeah um, that now as for cleaning not everybody is going to agree with this method but um, the piercer that pierced my tragus had um, told me about this method and he it's worked for me honestly like it's the only thing that's worked for me so I have decided to apply it to this piercing as well um, and hopefully it goes well because I know the helix can be a little bit oh there's like hair everywhere okay um, I know that this method is a little bit like not a lot of people do this but honestly like it helped me so much and the guy that did my tragus piercing the, the guy that did my tragus piercing actually like splits people's tongues and does all of these like body modifications like these crazy stuff so honestly if I could take anybody if I could take anybody's advice as far as like taking care of piercings and everything it's going to be this guy because he's been doing it for so long he's been like piercing for 15 years or whatever so I honestly follow his advice to a T like yeah so this particular piercing shop that did my helix piercing they have in their instruction booklet it says to clean it three to four times a day with H2 Ocean um, if you're cleaning it three to four times a day with um, saline I honestly think that's overkill and I feel like you're gonna take three or four times as long to heal my personal opinion so um, um, the other guy basically his method is really simple you just wash it in the shower with unscented soap preferably like dove or whatever and then just dry it off afterwards um, don't use any q-tips around the area because like the cotton wool or whatever can get caught in the piercing so um, it's just very simple honestly and then um, just in the shower let the water like hit it 
for a good solid like five minutes or so like just to clean the area so basically what my other piercer was telling me that um, was that sea salt is very drying on piercings and I have experienced that in the past with my belly button piercing try this guy's method on my helix now and I hope it goes well actually we'll be doing really soon a updated not really updated but like piercings and tattoos that I want to get this year because yes I'm going to be getting more piercings Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in my next one. Bye, everyone.